Well, that's one way to wake up in the morning. Sony has finally revealed the PlayStation 5 Pro with a staggering amount of $700 USD. Closer to $800 to $850 in Canada and staggering amounts of money across the rest of the world. People, I gotta be honest with you. I wasn't looking for the PlayStation 5 Pro, but to be honest with you, I really, really, really don't see any benefit. So we'll go on and we'll see what this PlayStation 5 Pro has to offer, and then I'll give you my reasons. So let's get on with it. Welcome to the PS5 Pro. What does the PS5 Pro actually entail? We're just gonna give you a brief overview. You guys can look at this if you want, or watch the original video, or go to the PlayStation blog post, and then I'll give you my official thoughts. It consists of an upgraded GPU, the PS5 Pro has an upgraded GPU of 67% more compute units than the current PS5, 28% faster memory. Overall, enables the 45% faster rendering for gameplay, making the experience much smoother. Pretty much the people that like frame rates and stuff like that, higher frame rates and high fidelity, you're gonna get that. Advanced ray tracing. Honestly, ray tracing makes your games look pretty. I like my games looking pretty with ray tracing, that's why I like ray tracing. But a lot of people turn their ray tracing off. And this is pretty much standard gameplay. AI driven upscaling. This is what I really do like about the PlayStation 5. The AI driven upscaling. You, if they can upscale PS1 games, PS2 games, and the dreaded PS3 games, we can have something on our hands with the PlayStation 5 Pro. This is for the enthusiast. Like legit, this is for the enthusiast game person. For me and what I want to do, the PlayStation 5 at this price point isn't enough for me. It really isn't. $700 disc list without physical sold separately that increased the price of like almost up to $800 without a vertical stand. Honestly, $800 for a console is ridiculous. I'm sorry. Be pissed off. I don't give a shit. But $800 for a console, let alone in Canada, is fucking bullshit. It's Mark Cerny. It's bullshit. You should not be spending eight hundred to freaking seven hundred dollars to eight hundred to nine hundred dollars on a freaking console. If you're spending that kind of cash, buy a PC. You can get more and then some. Point blank. That that's what pretty much got me right there. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not feeling that. You know, games is gonna come with the PlayStation Five Pro. This is gonna be upscale. Uh, upscale for the PlayStation Five model, PS Slim. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. For me personally. I, I I was expecting a bit more, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to see a good graphical update. It's not that much of a jump from the regular PS5 model to the PS5 Pro. I get you're saying this on paper, but the visual aids that they show, Last of Us, uh, freaking Final Fantasy and some other stuff, it, it ain't, it doesn't click with me. It ain't working. The PS5 Pro model will be the best way to play these games, but if I'm going to be playing these games and when you're spending all this money, I might as well buy a PC. Like, and that's pretty much what I'm doing. Like, I got my Xbox, I got my regular PlayStation 5, and I got my Nintendo, but I need a better PC. I could buy these things for a PlayStation 5 model, but with a little bit extra money, hey, I can get a PC that's damn near stronger than this. Literally, base model, freaking stronger than this. I don't... I don't know, man. I don't know what Mark Cerny and them were thinking. Cause you know they're gonna be coming with bundles with this. They're gonna be coming with a bundle sale. Oh, 800 to the 850. I like, listen, I buy stuff to last. By the time you get this in a couple years down the road, what video game is taking full use and advantage of this? Nothing at that time is gonna be toward a PS6 time or whatever Xbox is doing or the next Nintendo Switch, whatever you wanna call it. But ultimately this is for the enthusiast and pretty much it's not for me. I'm gonna cough up a little bit more money. I'm gonna buy a PC, point blank. Done deal, man. Like, I'm not sitting here to harp on. If you're excited for a PlayStation 5, by all means, be excited. But don't rub it in people's faces. Heck, it ain't like I ain't got the money. I could buy the damn thing right now. I just don't see a benefit to getting this. If I have a regular PS5 model, and I can, if I get more money, I can get a PC that does more features. And it's upgradable. I don't know, man. It is what it is, people, but... If you're excited about this, cool. If you're not, be like me, go ahead and buy a PC. That's all I gotta say, man. I'm out.